Hi, I'm Megan Vibbert, Public Information Officer for Douglas PUD. Douglas PUD owns and operates the Wells Hydroelectric Project. The design of Wells Dam is unique in that the generating units, spillways, switchyard, and fish passage facilities are combined into a single structure referred to as the hydro combine. This hydro combine design provides some unique fish passage possibilities. Fish ladders located on the east and west side of the dam are used by adult fish returning upriver to spawn. 100% of the salmon and steelhead destined for waters upstream of Wells Dam that enter the fish ladder successfully pass the dam. They do this in less than 24 hours on average. This is considered safe, timely, and effective passage. Outmigrating juvenile fish safely follow the river's flow through Wells Dam Juvenile Bypass System. The bypass system utilizes specific spillways located above five of the 10 generating units. During bypass operations, two of the spill gates spill water from the top of the dam and produce a type of waterfall, and three of the gates open and release water from the bottom of the dam. The juvenile bypass system begins on the upstream side of the dam, where spillway entrances are located above the generator's turbine entrances. Most juvenile salmon and steelhead migrate near the river's surface and naturally follow the river's flow through the spillway entrances, rather than diving deeper into the turbine intakes. During the 1980s, Five spillway entrances were modified by adding baffles and barriers that encouraged the fish to use the best path for downstream migration. Each spillway has three intakes. For the bypass spillway, the two outside intakes have solid steel barriers, and the middle intake is a slotted steel section. This configuration creates a velocity that attracts the fish into the bypass spillways. The bypass system is in operation annually from April until mid-August. Douglas PUD remains committed to continuing our history of successful resource management. Over 92% of the juvenile salmon and steelhead that pass Wells Dam use the bypass system. Because of their affinity for the bypass system, survival rates of juvenile salmon and steelhead migrating through the Wells Hydroelectric Project is over 96%, which exceeds the standards of the Wells Habitat Conservation Plan, developed and signed by federal and state fisheries agencies and regional Indian tribes. These adult and juvenile passage success rates, coupled with off-site hatchery programs and habitat restoration work, ensure that the Wells Project has no net impact on mid-Columbia salmon and steelhead runs.